All right, friends, welcome back to another video about New World. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about whether or not New World needs mounts. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't. Uh, yes, the, uh, the game is big, the map is big, there's a lot of places to run around, and sometimes it takes a really long time, even with the fast travel system that's in place. Um, but ultimately, I believe the, the game is healthier because it has no mounts. Um, the game has a lot of mechanics that are very much balanced around keeping people uh, out into the world. Um, like crafting has a constant need for like the low tier stuff so it keeps high level characters running around low level areas to go get like all the iron and the, the fibers for linen. So they can upgrade into the, you know, into the satin, into the silk, into the infused silk, into the whatever. Um, that keeps people out. There's, um, you know, town, any town board and faction missions, many of them send you, you know, to different landmarks to open chests or kill stuff or, you know, find things. Um, you know, you got to run to the dungeons. Uh, but ultimately, there's, there's always a reason to go out and you know explore see the world and and just do stuff out there uh whenever you do one thing in particular what this leads to is um you often find reasons to go do other stuff that you run into while you're on the way like while you're out here fishing you could uh you could see a bunch of flint and be like okay well i i guess i need bait and so you can pick that up and find the stuff or you can go you can be on your way to it a dungeon with some homies and then realize oh hey there's some uh, there's some hemp out here uh may as well pick that up maybe i can sell uh you know a couple hundred on the trading post later um maybe it won't sell for much because the economy is what it is but you know that's a separate issue entirely uh, there's also the corruption portal scattered around that people use to farm xp when they're not max level and azoth it's actually really good for azoth if you, if you need any of that blue porty lube stuff very good to go close those those portals on the map um but yeah you you can always just like find stuff that you weren't ever really intending to interact with while you're going to do whatever it is you are intending to interact with and i i just think that's a nice little um detail a, a, a nice thing that the game that the game encourages by letting you run it or ma making you run everywhere um Sure, they, like I said, they do have the fast travel system to mitigate the need to run from where we are on this map to where we're looking at on this map. Because uh, that would take, you know, like an hour to run that. But uh, one advantage of that, I think, is that when you are somewhere so far from civilization, like you really feel like you're, you're isolated, you're remote, you're far from, from civilization. Um, it's kind of hard to put your finger on it. To put my finger on it, but you know, right in this footage that is playing behind me, um, I'm fishing at the the very south end of Cutlass Key, and there is there is a fast travel point not far from there, but it really really feels like you're just way out in the sticks. Like, uh, it it just feels cool. Uh, something to do with the size of the world and, uh. The fact that it is a bit of a hassle to go that far makes it feel maybe not rewarding is the right word, but it makes you it makes me feel accomplished when I when I go out there to do something so that, that I can only do out there. And like for this in particular, um, there's a really good there, there's a two star fishing spot out there that very few people go to because it's so far flung, uh, and it's uh it's a it's a pretty good spot for leveling fishing, which has been our goal on stream recently. Um, so yeah, one thing that I think mounting would, one, one problem with having a mount is when you want to get on a mount in any of these games or any other MMO, you, you know, you sit there, you channel for a couple seconds, you get on your mount and you run away. Uh, whenever I'm going anywhere in the game in its current state, it's, it's a hassle if it's a hassle for me to stop and pick things up simply because i don't like hitting the auto run button a bunch of times so uh if i if i had to not only hit the button to remount but also wait a couple of seconds and then start running um 
you know, I probably would pick up way less stuff. But I, I know that's petty. But with how many times, uh, you know, you stop and pick stuff up with all this running, uh, it, it would get a little annoying really fast. So that's that's one one reason that I don't mind not having them. Um, I think with if you have mounts in conjunction with the fast travel system as it exists, um, the world will feel a lot less small, or it'll it'll feel a lot more small. Excuse me, it'll uh, would just be the added movement speed will make it so much easier to get all to all of these wide areas that are uh, far from every from anything else in particular that uh you know it just won't feel as rewarding and um in particular when you run yourself out of azoth uh the the currency you use to teleport it'll feel a lot less uh punishing and i know it's it's it may be a bad thing to think of a a mechanic and try and make it punishing, but let's say it incentivizes good Azoth management, and uh, mounting would just kind of mitigate that. And if if they say they add flying mounts and stuff that goes like three or five, three to five hundred percent faster than a player runs, then ultimately Azoth will just become a non-issue, and uh, you can you can just run uh, everywhere. And then that kind of forces the fast travel system into obsolescence, you know. Um, but yeah, most most of these reasons for now have been kind of opinion based, and uh, ultimately you're free to agree or disagree. Uh, it's just with the way I see it and the way I feel about it. But one thing that I feel, what that I believe, is you know a little more of a, a hard reason to not have mounts is that they would basically, um. I, w- I don't. I, w- I can't say it would eliminate world PvP, but it would definitely um, change P- world PvP, uh, and I don't think it would be a, a change for the better. Because right now, uh, in- when you flag for PvP and you run out in the world, and if someone rolls up on you and starts fighting you, uh, if you don't have a weapon that has a ton of mobility, you're forced to stand there and fight because if you don't fight, you'll die. Um, sure, there are a couple weapons with like the the great axe has like a really long dash. The fire staff has a, an even longer dash. Uh, I know the hatchet has a speed buff that you can just activate, and it's like lasts like ten seconds or something like that. I think berserk. Um, and those are, those are all like really powerful abilities in, in PvP, and I've had people use them to disengage with me. But the thing is, if you get if mounts exist and then someone has that has any one of those weapons and you don't, then they're just gonna. Uh, if you start winning that battle, then they're just gonna use that to disengage, mount up, and run away. And then if you don't have a range weapon, uh, to shoot them down and dismount them or whatever, then you're, that fight's just over. Here. There's nothing you can really do. Mounting up yourself to chase after them would kind of be pointless. Uh. Because you know, you'll know you never close that gap because they're not going to make some mounts faster than others. Uh, so that would really uh, decrease the quality of, of world PvP combat. And uh, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but that was it was a complaint I heard a lot in particular while I was playing World of Warcraft. Um, you know, after they added Dungeon Finder, Raid Finder, all, all these queues and stuff, everyone everyone was just sitting in cities, and a lot of people a lot of people complained uh, about the fact that World PvP just didn't exist anymore at that time, and uh, a lot of people were wishing for the the good old days of uh, Classic WoW, and you know, just the fact that you could run out run into people out in the world. Uh, fight them, see them doing well, see them doing stuff. Fight them if they're flagged. Uh, ultimately, having people out in the world it just makes the world feel more alive. And uh, you know, sometimes even in this place, uh, at the, the very start of the stream, there were like two or three other people fishing this one spot. Thankfully, they left, and I was able to uh, keep the fish to myself for the rest of the night. But uh, ultimately. Uh, If there were mounts and people could just zoom through everything and zoom through the entire world and 
go anywhere they wanted without putting any effort into it, then people would be out of town, into town, out of town, into town, and then just run out of stuff to do and then sit at the, tra sit at the trading post and uh, wonder why no one's world PvPing anymore. Uh, but yeah, just forcing people out into the world keeps it feeling alive. And I know it, it, like I said, it does kind of feel like a hassle sometimes, but for me, for me at least, the hassle is worth it. Um, that said, I won't be entirely upset if they do add mounts. Um, A, it does reduce the hassle. And, uh, you know, I won't mind that. Uh, I'll just feel a little sad for the loss of, you know, a bit of the scale of the world. But, um, the, the main reason I would be the less upset about mounts is in any MMO I've ever played, I've been like a massive collector of those things. I had like a hundred, or I, I had, I had like hundreds of mounts in World of Warcraft. I don't remember the exact number, but I remember it was, it was a lot. Um, I was running out of achievements for collecting them. It, it was ridiculous. Um, stuff like that. The one time, I guess if they add mounts, but we only get to have one and it's like a horse that we have to take care of that just kind of looks basic, then I might be a little upset, but... <laughs> um, you know, if they give me a bunch of stuff to collect, I'll be okay with losing some of the scale of the world just so I can have one more thing to go grind after. But, you know, that's just me. Um, that's pretty much all I really had to talk about. Um, if you have a differing opinion, if you share my opinion, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll respond to as many as I can. And, uh, yeah. I want to know what you have to say. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I hope uh, I could sway your, your opinion one way or another. If you, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you dab on that like. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and uh, yeah. Come see me when I stream this. Uh, I stream five days a week every day except for Thursday and Saturday. I do Let's Play videos every day. And I post videos like this occasionally. So... Feel free to come on back. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day. Yeet.